sponsored by Shunk Furniture of Marquette. On another very warm and sunny day across Upper Michigan, and as you can see to the left of me, you're right on television, we do have beautiful conditions in Houghton. Portage Canal looking nice, a beautiful summer evening in Houghton. And as we look at our local three radar network here, you can see we do have dry conditions across the rest of upper Michigan. But different story though, as we head to the south and west, we do have a line of strong to even severe thunderstorms just to the west of the Twin Cities, west towards north and west of Mankato, Minnesota, west of Rochester, Minnesota. And these storms are moving up towards the north and east, but they're not going to make it into Upper Michigan tonight. Maybe an outside chance they make it towards Ironwood and the Keweenaw, but for the most part, we do stay dry for the rest of the night. Here's the setup. It's actually a cold front moving into western Minnesota and all being driven by an upper level low across the Canadian prairies. This upper level low is going to drag its feet through the Canadian prairies and then eventually into northern Ontario pretty much right through early next week. So we got several rain chances on the way starting tomorrow into next week. And some of the rain through the weekend could be heavy at times. And we'll talk about that here in just a second. Otherwise, bright, beautiful sunshine. Some clouds, though, starting to sneak into the western UP. Temperatures still warm this evening. They're in the low to mid 80s. Officially at the Weather Service today in Nagani Township, we had a high temperature of 86, 60 being the low. Downtown Marquette at the U.S. Coast Guard, 82 was today's high. So for tomorrow, rain and thunderstorm chances will begin to increase and the best chance of rain through tomorrow through the weekend will be Saturday night into Sunday morning. Some of the storms could produce some gusty winds and maybe some hail tomorrow, but the bigger issue with these thunderstorms through the weekend will be potentially a soaking to heavy rain at times. Here's your temperature forecast tonight. It's going to be another warm one, but it's going to be the last warm one for quite a while. We'll have lows tonight around 60, maybe some spots the upper 60s and look for the humidity to increase as well a little bit cooler closer to Lake Michigan. So for the rest of the night, we'll stop local three future cast as we go into tomorrow morning. You can see through the overnight hours, most of us are dry exception over towards the Ironwood area. Tomorrow, there's your rain and thunderstorms potentially moving in and these rain and thunderstorm chances will continue through Friday night. And then as we end into Saturday, once again, we'll have some rain and thunderstorm chances, but look for the rain potentially to pick up the pace as we go into Saturday evening. And that's why I think our best rain chance is going to be Saturday night on into Sunday morning. So here's your extended forecast tomorrow 70s and 80s. Look for the humidity to increase a little bit tonight into the daytime on Friday. High temperatures across the UP like I said 70s and 80s. Your coolest temperatures will be in the western UP. Warmest temperatures central and east. For the daytime on Saturday rain and thunderstorm chances can continue. Look for high temperatures in most UP locations around the 70 degree mark or the 70s, locally cooler near some shorelines of the Great Lakes Saturday, especially Lake Superior. Rain at times for Sunday for Father's Day, maybe a thunderstorm, highs around 70 or the 70s, and that's about where we stay in the high temperature department into next week with low temperatures in the 50s, and there's your continued rain chances as we go into Monday and also Tuesday. Marine forecast, waves a little choppy out there on Lake Superior, and then waves about one to two feet for the Bay of Green Bay a foot or less for Lake Michigan. Weather anytime, upmatters.com and Facebook. Becca, back to you.